It's not every day that someone hires a private investigator, especially not my friend. She had her reasons, though she suspected her husband of infidelity. When she shared what the PI had found with me, it piqued my interest. I'd always dreamed of becoming a PI, so I sheepishly asked her for the investigator's card. At the time, I had a lot of extra cash and my life had been feeling dull. I spent most of my days playing games and watching YouTube and I wanted to shake things up, so I decided to hire the same private investigator as my friend. I told my boyfriend about my plan and he was into it too. We came up with a plan for him to act like I was missing and submitted details about my family, occupation, and so on. I warned my boyfriend that we wouldn't be able to meet up while the investigation was happening, but he was fine with it. However, things quickly took a strange turn. When the PI got involved, he seemed to doubt my existence. My boyfriend had to convince him that I was real, and then the investigator kept accusing my boyfriend of wasting his time. Finally, on the fifth day of the investigation, my boyfriend called me in a panic. He claimed that the only person who had ever lived in the state with my name which is very unique had died a year before I was born. Even more eerily, this girl had lived in my childhood home. I thought my boyfriend was playing a prank, but his tone was bone chilling. I'm not playing a prank, he said, but P.I. even took me to the gravesite. It had your exact name, down to your middle name. I was shocked and didn't know what to do. I called my mother to ask her what was going on. Her demeanor changed to one of seriousness and she told me to stay where I was. Meanwhile, I contacted the private investigator and begged him for answers. He only asked me more irrelevant questions like where I was born and my parents' names. When I mentioned that my mother was on her way to my apartment, the pie asked for her full name. When I provided it, he told me to leave my apartment immediately and come to his office before my mother arrived. As I rushed to grab my keys, my mother pulled into my driveway with a man I didn't recognize. He was wearing a winter jacket despite it being spring and I felt like something was off. Before I could leave, the man pulled out a gun. I recognized it as my boyfriend's Glock and ran to my neighbor's yard, expecting to be shot. Thankfully, nothing happened and I eventually ran into my boyfriend's car. However, there was another man in the passenger seat. It was the private investigator. He explained to me that he had a theory that my parents were involved in a kidnapping that took place a few states over. They did this because the police had suspected them of neglecting their infant daughter and when she ended up perishing, they had to completely replace the child. As to not get caught, my parents had never mistreated me in my life, so this all came to me as a shock. Of course, I denied it all at first. However, there was no reason for my mother to bring an armed stranger into my living space. We got the authorities involved and they excavated the backyard of my childhood home. They found the body of the child they had neglected, the child they had me replace. Several years have passed since then. I've done my best to avoid thinking about this situation. I have completely moved out of country, leaving everyone behind. My friends, my boyfriend, and that private investigator. I have no idea of how deep this rabbit hole goes. I don't know how many connections my parents have had. I don't even know my father's role in all of this. It just feels all so overwhelming. I had to get it out there.